I have two markets this weekend. This is what a location sticker looks like, and you see all these beer cans in the background all the time. This is a very exciting package because it means that we can restock the frames. Um, we've been dating, it'll be six years in January. Hello. <gasps> One for my parents, one for Sean and I. Sean, do you want to be part of this recap? Hello and welcome or welcome back to my channel. Today is another market prep video. I have two markets this weekend, one on Saturday, one on Sunday, and they're actually different events, so it's not the same market. Coordinator. I'm gonna start this vlog with some updates. I like that every week I can update you on anything that <laughs> has gone on since vlogging because today is Wednesday. It's 1019. I'm making breakfast because I just took donut to her new vet or the new vet. If you watched my last video, you would have seen that I was switching vets and I was kind of nervous to call and ask them to send Duncan's records over, but I'm relieved because I just did that. Duncan also has an appointment set up at this new vet. So Duncan set up, Donut just went. I had a good experience and you know, it was a pretty quick appointment, but I talked to them about Duncan a bit because he's been peeing. Let me know if this is a thing with anyone who has had a puppy. Pretty specific situation but Duncan's almost seven months old and he was neutered two weeks ago and he's been peeing in the house but pretty much only at night and it's like a lot like he's peeing a lot he's still peeing when we take him out too and I don't think it's a cat because this started before we got the cat um, although it has been getting worse so we're testing him for a UTI I have a strong feeling it's gonna come back negative He's on antibiotics for it because they tested him from urine off the ground because he peed. Sorry, this is kind of gross, but he peed in the vet's office. They like sucked it up and tested it under a microscope. They didn't see blood and they saw a little bacteria, but they're like, that could be because we picked it up off the ground. So I kind of feel like he doesn't have a UTI, but he's being treated for one. And then they're gonna retest at this new vet his urine and I really think it's gonna come back negative. And we're gonna have to like either rule out other medical things or just see if it stops. It's just really bizarre. That's a Duncan update and that's the vet update. And let me show you Donut. She is a healthy little girl. She's like three or four months, I think. She's just the best ever. We're gonna have some breakfast and I need to make a lot of coasters this week. I have a full sheet that I need to finish today. Well, not a full sheet. I have a full sheet going. I have like three coasters left on it that I need to finish today. And that whole sheet is for orders, except I took some off my board and shipped them, my car coaster board, and so I'm restocking those, but technically they're for orders. And then after that, I wanna get another full sheet done by this weekend. So that's kinda the plan. I'm restocked on stickers because I restocked them last week and didn't end up going to the market. So I'm glad that's done. And we will see what else we do this week. Sean needs to make more covers for the frames. And then I have to pack up some frames and frame covers and punch needle orders. So lots of order packing as well. I'm going to eat and then we can do some car coasters. When the stars fall out the sky, I try to catch them. When the past fades my heart, will we collect them? Every droplet of your time has my attention. Any worry on your mind, I can deflect it. Baby, tell me your dreams will manifest it. If you wanna run away, I will protect ya. If your head is in the ground and you wanna get out, we can go into the clouds. I've been struck by Cupid's arrows. The drums inside my heart beat faster. They go.
clips from the beginning Searching for the footage that I'm missing I try to find a kill to kill the distance I try to pass the holes I wasn't feeling Even when I held you from the start I couldn't make up for the spell she had Okay, so I figured I would do a voiceover here because I don't really explain how I do the backs of my car coasters very often, but I first cut them all out of the sheet, and then I cut a circle around them, and I use hot glue to glue down the excess fabric to the back of the coaster, as you can see I'm doing here, and in a minute you'll see, but I'm going to then glue them to felt with hot glue, and then cut them out of the felt, and then I'll put my branding tags on the back of each one, and I had 500 branding tags when I moved to New Hampshire, and I just ran out of them. I used them on my car coasters, big coasters, and tufted tote bags. But as you probably know, I only really make a lot of car coasters. I don't do a ton of the big coasters and tufted totes um, as of late because I haven't had much time. But that means I have made nearly 500 car coasters since being in New Hampshire, which is crazy. It seems like not the case, but I guess it's possible. That's like wild to me. It's 2.45 right now and I'm about to pack up the orders, the car coaster orders that I can. I still have some that I need to make, like pending orders, but here are car coasters. I'm gonna put the mushrooms on my board and then everything else are for orders. And after I do this, I'm gonna pack up some frame orders. I can pack some small frames and covers. I have them right in front of me. And speaking of the frames, hopefully they're back in stock by now. We want to get them in stock again by the end of this week, which is in two days, if not early next week, which is around the time I'm posting this video. So Sean 100% deals with the frames and the frame covers. He orders everything, he makes everything. So he has a better idea of when they're gonna be able to be in stock again because we're waiting on shipments of supplies and they will be linked below. Thank you so much for selling me out of the first batch, that's amazing. But I do know there's a lot of people who wanted one and didn't get one and I feel bad about that. So hopefully we can get these in stock again soon, especially before Christmas if people wanna order these as gifts. That's another thing. If you're planning on ordering anything for Christmas, if you can afford to do so, I would definitely order sooner rather than later because the sooner you order the sooner you get it and you don't want to risk it not coming in time for Christmas. All my processing times are on my Etsy for every product. You can see that before you order. The highest processing time I have is five to seven days which is the time it takes for me to actually ship your item and then it's another three to five days for shipping about. So some products we are closer to that seven days like the frames I'm shipping at seven days so anyone who ordered last week I'm shipping out your order tomorrow uh, just because some of the products take longer usually not always I can get these out sooner than seven days although these orders are supposed to ship tomorrow so it's been seven days but yeah just keep that in mind and I appreciate if you do order anything obviously after I pack up these orders I think I'm gonna decorate my office for Christmas so we will see though because it's also messy and I want to decorate it when it's a little decluttered, so maybe I'll declutter it.
they don't talk a lot, but I'm wondering, can I get your number? Satellite, so if you wanna dip, let's dip, baby. There's a spot that nobody knows. We could take a little trip. If you feel it and you're comfortable, then I'm wondering, can I get your number? Okay, here are the packages that I need to ship out tomorrow. So we have three, four, five, six packages to ship. Hi, Dunk. I want to tidy up this office. If you're new here and you see all these beer cans in the background all the time, <laughs> it's because we make candles with recycled cans. So I'm not just <laughs> having beer in here. There's a purpose. Uh, it's our product, essentially. So yeah, I kind of want to get that out of the frame because it's not the cutest thing. So if I could like hide that, tuck them away, we'll see what we can do. It's just like very cluttered in here right now. Then I want to decorate and then I also have a location sticker I need to work on tonight as well as I just filmed packing one of the orders. So I want to edit a TikTok and Instagram reel, but that might be a tomorrow thing. We'll see how much more we can get done. It's currently four o'clock, so. Okay, this is the current situation, which is me doing what I can with the space I have. I took the boxes that were just sitting on the floor and I put them there and there. <laughs> this is crazy. Hi, Donut. Because I want to keep this place clean and inspiring and if it's so cluttered, I'm just not going to want to even be in here. So I tried to tidy up, put the cans away. I put fabric that was over here down there, tucked away closer to where Sean works. Um, I didn't want to tidy up this because I think he's going to be sewing tonight and there's just no point putting this stuff away if he's going to take it back out. Um, I have my Santa pillow here and this still could be tidied a little bit. Um, those are just staying there. They're going to get shipped soon enough. I'm trying to see what else. This all looks pretty good. I put the wax over here. Uh, so I think we're ready to decorate. This is my <laughs> bag of decor. So... Let's just put a few things out. I also already put a little tree up there. I might switch that out with another or add to it or maybe put these things away and put a tree there. We will see. Okay, the last thing I have is this little wreath that Duncan got a hold of, so that's not great, but and I'm gonna put this on the inside or the outside of the door. I also don't know how I'm gonna hang it yet because I don't have command hooks. Maybe I'll have a little one, I'll have to look again. Okay, I did have a command hook, so I used that to hang this, and then I, hello. 
No way. This is what's happening with him. After like five o'clock, he just is peeing. Um, I'm gonna clean this up. We're gonna start taking him out like every hour, but this is so weird. Why is it only at night? Yeah, I'm so confused. It's stressful because I don't understand. It's almost five o'clock. So let's clean this. And normally I would just think it's because she's here, but this has been happening since before we got her. So I don't think it has anything to do with her. Um, maybe it's increasing because she's here, so it's like marking, but I don't know. That's so weird. Sean's going to have to do the rug cleaner on that, so I'm just going to leave that. Anyways, I also had two ornaments left over, so I put one up here. I don't know if it's too cluttered, but I thought it was kind of cute. Like, I don't know if you can even tell what that is. <laughs> I might end up taking that down or putting it somewhere else, but maybe I could hang in there. What if I... Okay, I think I like them there. Maybe I'll take a third one off the tree and put one in the middle. Yeah, I think I'm gonna do that, but that's cute. Okay, I'm decorated. Not a ton, but I think it's cute. Okay, I put a white one. I think that looks cute. Nice. Okay, it's 7.30 and Sean is working on a large frame cover. Is your goal to do one tonight? That's three. Right. Three tonight? You gotta ship out three tomorrow. Oh my gosh. No, you gotta ship out two tomorrow. So two. But I'm gonna make three because I and then I also wanna make another frame. You're gonna be up forever. Yeah, we'll see. Duncan hasn't had another accident. We've taken him out every hour. Well, it's only been like one hour or two hours since the accident you saw, which was his only accident of tonight. Where's Donut? And Donut's over there. <laughs> She's so little. It's hard to keep track of her. Um <laughs> And as for what I'm doing, I finished the location sticker. I haven't made it. I still need to make it and ship it. Oh my gosh, she's playing with an ornament. I don't know if you can see her. But I'll make that tomorrow or Friday or sometime soon. And I'm going to be done working for tonight, so I will see you tomorrow. Good morning. Today is Thursday and it's 11.45. It's been one of those mornings where it's just taking forever to get things done that usually don't take that long. So I just finished planning my classes for tonight for TAP and I'm about to pack up some more frame orders. I have three orders I need to pack. One of them, well one of the ones we packed last night, Sean realized was not made correctly so I unpacked it and he's fixing that frame. I repacked that order with a different frame we had made. So. He's fixing that frame and I need to pack it up for an order. And then the other two are large frames, which I can pack right now. And he made the covers for them last night. We have a lot of frame orders that still need to go out, like over 10. But Sean still has to make the covers and the frames. So those are gonna have to wait. But the ones that I have to ship today, I'm gonna ship today. Tomorrow I have to ship a location sticker so I might make that today and then ship it tomorrow like just print it out because I already made it as I was explaining yesterday and yeah after I pack these up I'm gonna head to the post office and then to my parents and pick up some packages and then I'll open the packages I'm sure on camera I think I have things coming in I also want to do some punch needling today but I have to teach tonight so Thursdays it's harder to get a ton done let's start by packing up these orders Cause baby like I'm about to pack up the location sticker, but I also made these dilute tortoiseshell stickers because Donut is a dilute tortoiseshell, that's her marking. So I wanted to carry these at least at the pop-up. So I made a few, I designed this last night and I'm gonna hang this on my board, but I just wanted to show you how it came out. This is what a location sticker looks like. They're on my Etsy 
and and basically you choose two locations and I draw them based off of the map image of them. So this customer chose Bakersfield and Sacramento. Okay, this cart is full of packages and I'm about to head to the post office to drop them off and then pick up packages for my parents and I will see you when I get back. I'm back from my parents and before I left, Duncan had an accident in the house and that's the first accident he's had before the evening since he started having accidents again in the house. So that's weird. I called the vet and got his new patient uh, appointment moved up like by a week. So he has an appointment Tuesday and today's Thursday. I hope I get his current vet records in before then so that this vet can have them. But yeah, I'm definitely like a little worried, but also I know there's so many things he's been going through, like the surgery, medications, a new cat, like I'm sure it's just something with like anxiety or stress, but <clears throat> Hopefully we can figure it out and hopefully it doesn't cost a fortune to figure it out because it might just be behavioral. But I have one package I can open for my parents and I have more coming in the mail. Like the gripper strips for the frames are coming. And once we get those, I can do a restock of the frames. We should get them today. So I should be able to restock tomorrow, um, which is Friday or early next week. So they should be available by the time this video is up. Here, so hoping there's still some left. So let's see, I don't even know what this package is and neither does Sean. So we're just gonna see, it could be, oh my gosh, I know what it is. It's not small business related. Well, it is, it's another small business. I got this for my friend. Brie, if you're watching, don't watch. This is part of her Christmas gift. It's like a funny gift. <laughs> it's an emotional support pickle. I just thought this would make her laugh, so I got that. <laughs> That's funny, I was like, what is this package? It's 2.12 right now, and I leave for work in like two hours and 20 minutes at 4.30. So I think until then, I'm just gonna work on punch needling. It's the next day, today's Friday, so today's the last day to prep for tomorrow's markets, or tomorrow and Sunday's markets, and honestly, I don't think I'm going to get anything new done, but this morning I've just been punch needling. It's 10.30 right now. I have both animals in the office with me. <laughs> Sean is working from home. They've been getting along pretty well. They've been playing a lot. She's coming around a lot more, but today's plan is to punch needle, potentially make a punch needle tote bag, and I think I'm gonna go over to my parents to grab some packages. Um, some of the packages are gifts. I wanna show you them, but I'm just gonna tell Sean not to watch this video, and I don't think my parents are gonna watch it, but I'll let them know to also not watch this video. I think I'm gonna head over there soon. I just need to pack up an order, which is a big punch needle frame and the cover, so I'm gonna pack that up and then head to the post office to ship it and grab the packages from my parents, and then I will see you after. If you thought that you loved me, well, trust me, you didn't. The proof's in your lies and your toxic decisions. Temptation crept in, it didn't take much convincing. I'm not sure what love is, but I know what it isn't. Begging me to listen, say you learned your lesson. Swearing on your mother, they were minor indiscretions. If you could go back, you would change it in a second. So what the you were drinking, lost and blurry vision. Cause 
It's 12.20 right now. I'm back from my parents. I just got back and I got a few packages. Like I said, I want to share them with you. The first package was Duncan's dog food. He gets some frozen food from Ollie, so I just unpacked all of that. And then the first two packages are Christmas gifts, so I want to show you those. So the first one is for my parents. And I, if you watched, I think, last week's vlog, you would have seen me design this. And it came in very quickly. It's from Easy Canvas Prints. <laughs> Come on. It's like weird, but also amazing. Like so funny. So this is my parents' dog and they are huge Green Bay Packers fans. I designed this on Procreate and got it printed as a canvas and they can hang it on the wall if they want. They can just prop it up somewhere. They can put it on an easel. My dad's gonna like die. Oh my gosh, okay, so that's the first thing. The next thing is a whole bunch of chocolate. So I watch H3H3, I watch their podcast, and they had this chocolatier, chocolate owner come on the show, and the reactions to all the chocolates and like the company, like how they hand make all their chocolate and everything, it just sold me, and I got a bunch. So, some of these are for my parents, some are for Sean and I. So let me just quickly show you all the flavors. One for my parents, one for Sean and I. This is the everything bar. Then I broke into this one, whoops. This was supposed to be one for Sean and I, one for my parents. But like I said, I broke into that, so I'll have to figure it out. <laughs> this is donuts and coffee. Then these next two are for my parents. So my mom loves s'mores and then this is eggnog. I love their packaging. And then this next one's for my parents. It's cinnamon roll. And then this one is called California Dreaming. It's dark chocolate brownies and peanut butter cup. I have to decide if I'm getting these. And then cornbread, which they tried on the show. I would not go for this normally, but they said it was like so, so good. So this is gonna be for Sean and I. So yeah, I got some chocolates as a gift. Then um, I got some matcha because I've been sitting on this matcha. We've had it for like, I don't even know, months, and I just don't want it. So I'm like, okay. Obviously we still have it, Sean eats it. I forget the name of it. It's from um, Costco, but this is a better matcha. I like it a lot better. And I just got it from Amazon. So I'm so happy I can have my matchas again. Uh, I'm gonna probably make one after this clip. And then business related packages. This is a very exciting package because it means that we can restock the frames beginning of next week. But these are the gripper strips whole bunch in here this is what goes along the edges of the frames and that is everything I picked up from my parents I'm going to either punch needle or work on a tote bag probably just continue punch needling for now so yeah let's keep working okay I'm gonna be honest with you uh, before I punch needle I'm gonna pack a couple of Christmas gifts so that the stuff isn't just out everywhere I've been putting Christmas gifts in my closet but the closet is only so big and we have other things in there and it's just filling up. So skip ahead if you don't care to see this, but I'm going to pack some gifts. It's the end of the year. Everywhere on TV, couples and Christmas trees, gifts wrapping in cheer. Just the worst time to be with someone special. Okay, I'm about to pack up a bunch more Christmas gifts. I thought I was just gonna do a few. Sean's vacuuming. But I figured I'd quickly go through and show you everything in case anyone needs ideas. It's like a what I'm giving for Christmas section of this video because I don't wanna do a whole separate video about that since I do wanna focus mostly on my business on this channel. Unless you wanna see more of these types of things, I can incorporate those videos too. And I used to do that. Like last year I did a what to get your boyfriend for Christmas video. I'll start by saying I have a few ideas that I'm definitely gonna get. I'm just waiting for Black Friday. 
I'm gonna whisper in case he can hear. I wanna get two tennis rackets and tennis balls for Sean and I, as well as a pickleball set with two pickleball rackets. I don't know if that's what you call the paddles and the balls. And then I also wanna get a spike ball set for us. So like, this is the year of outdoor activities. I wanna do a lot of activities over the summer with him and get more active because we used to be super active. We love to play tennis. So I wanna do that. And then I think that's pretty much it. I wanna get a hand mixer for the kitchen because he's mentioned that that would be nice to have. We have the kitchen aid, but we want just like a hand one. Uh, so that's like the other things I've thought about for Sean and I. Most of the gifts I get is for both of us but the first thing these are from tj maxx we're just in need of new sheets and our comforter is sage green so i picked these ones up i'm gonna wrap that up i also got him this big thing of body wash I'm trying to go through anything else i picked up for him so i don't have to whisper anymore i think that's oh then this this is for the kitchen. I don't know exactly how to pronounce this. I think it's pronounced mortar and pistol. So it's nice quality, it's heavy, good reviews. So that's for like crushing herbs or like making guacamole. Okay, then Brianna, if you're watching, please do not watch any further because I'm about to show all of your Christmas gifts. <laughs> Obviously, I don't want you to see them. So, first thing I got for her is this, oh, I don't have to whisper anymore, is this planter. It is a calico cat. She has a calico cat, so I found it fitting, and she loves plants. So it says, oh, that's the brand name, Spark Dazzle, and it has a drainage hole on the bottom as well. So I thought that was super cute. Got that off Etsy. Then I got these little earrings for her off of Etsy as well, and they're little calico studs. Super cute. And her cat is like black calico versus the white base, so they had different options. Then I got her, oh, I do have other things for Sean and I. This is actually mine, but I really don't use it, and she loves it, so I'm just going to give it to her. Um, it's from TJ Maxx. She has better style than I do. She, like, actually uses the stuff that she <laughs> buys. <laughs> this is my favorite thing I'm giving her. I actually bought myself the exact same one. It's an embroidered sweatshirt of plants and then a cat watering the plants, and this actually makes me think of our apartment. We have two windows. Each window has my plants. And then obviously we just got a kitten. So I got myself this as well. She's gonna love this, I think. And then I got her the emotional support pickle, as you saw earlier. So that's everything I got her. I'm gonna set that aside. Then uh, back to Sean and I, we're doing stockings at our apartment before we go to my parents. So these are both gonna go in the stocking. I'm not gonna say what it is because you'll be able to read it and I don't want him to hear me. Um, so this is the first thing. <laughs> I thought this was hilarious. Also got it off Etsy. Then I made us this. And like I said, this is gonna go into the stocking and it has just, I got this in Shutterfly and it has a bunch of photos throughout the years. Um, we've been dating, it'll be six years in January, so these are all California photos. California, New Hampshire, this is more college, California, these are like college. New Hampshire, California, this side's New Hampshire. See, this side's California, California, Michigan, uh, New York, just like... I think it's cool that we've been able to travel a bit. I mean, he's from California. These are all California. California. <laughs> um, this is our house, like my parents' house. New Hampshire. <laughs> COVID times. A concert in California. Hawaii. And then the business. So, I thought that was cute to just have, like some photos printed out because we never like print any photos. I got these coasters. I think I maybe, I did. I showed these in a past video. Um, they're from a market and these are from my mom, I guess, and my dad. They want to get a lake house, but even without a lake house, these would be cute, I think. So these are hand painted coasters from a market. We have a loon, a deer, a bald eagle, and a cardinal. So, I thought those were super cute. Then also for my mom, I got this from TJ Maxx because she needs a new one. And it's a Hydro Flask tumbler. Is that what you would call it? Coffee mug? 
this lady coffee mug and then this is from a market it's made from a recycled sailboat sail and it's just a pouch um but i thought it'd be good for their boat bag because it's waterproof then i got this for sean and i so we love friends and obviously matthew perry just died which is very sad so it's an ornament then i got this for my brother it's a hike book where you can track your hikes and he loves hiking so I thought that was a good idea. Then I showed this in a past video, also from a market. It's actually from the last market I did. It's fudge and caramel sauce for my mom and my dad. And then I think that's everything I have right now. So I'm gonna wrap most of this up and then get to punch needling. If you thought that you loved me, well trust me, you didn't. The proofs in your lies and your toxic decisions. Temptation crept in it didn't take much convincing. I'm not sure what love is, but I know what it isn't. Begging me to listen, say you learned your lesson. Swearing on your mother, they were minor indiscretions. If you could go back, you would change it in a second. So what the you were drinking? Lost and blurry vision. Cause we both know the vodka didn't put you in the linens Strangers to lovers in under a minute If you thought that you loved me, well trust me you didn't The proof's in your lies and your toxic decisions Temptation crept in it didn't take much convincing I'm not sure It's 6.30 right now. I feel like it's been a while since I last talked to you. Today's been weird because I didn't have a ton to get done. So I just kind of did what I wanted. If I look really red, I'm definitely red. And just, I look like I did a workout. I just did a workout. I started this program on Peloton called You Can Run. I think it's the same one. I was inspired by Tara Michelle. She, I think, did the same one. It's an eight-week program, 16 classes. You do two classes a week. I'm doing Tuesday and Friday, so today's Friday. I just, well, actually, I accidentally took class number two uh, on the first day. So today, I increased my running times and just watched YouTube um, while I did that. So the first day, it was like an eight-minute walking slash jogging warm-up, and then four-minute run, I think two-minute break, four-minute run, two-minute break, and maybe another four-minute run? I can't remember, but that was supposed to be class number two. I did that Tuesday, and then today I did five-minute intervals with rest in between, like two-minute rests in between. So I'm excited because I did not think I could ever run, and the fact that I can already run like five minutes straight off the bat impressed me so i'm excited by the end of the eight weeks you should be able to run a 30 minute run non-stop so <laughs> that's definitely daunting we will see but i do have faith also off camera right now duncan is getting into the tissue paper i have so many gifts wrapped let me show you so i wrapped all of these today i know again i'm really early but they were just sitting in our closet so i wanted to get them wrapped i went to the dollar store today and got the bags and tissue paper as well and then we have donuts sitting in a box that I'm going to use for a different present. But this is the progress on the sheet. I'm going to work on them more tonight. Oh, sorry. Here, you can kind of see a little better. I'm going to work on them more tonight. Uh, I wanted to get this done by today, but obviously that didn't happen. Uh, I might bring it to the market tomorrow to work on as well. So I think I'm not going to do a ton on this tonight, and you've seen a lot of me punch needling. So I think I'm just going to see you tomorrow for the market. But yeah, that's the update. Donuts getting real comfortable here. <laughs> Good morning, it's the day of the market. I feel like it's been a while since I've talked to you on the morning of a market, but it's 7.30 right now. It's an hour drive to the location. This is in Quincy, Massachusetts. And we have a smaller space. I forgot to mention this. We have a smaller space this time because the candle category was full, so we're not bringing our candles. Um, but I think this is gonna be a pretty good fare from the sounds of it. There's a lot of vendors, I think over 100. I was looking at the vendor list. But yeah, I will just see when we get there. The next clip is probably gonna be setting up. So I don't know exactly how we're setting up, like 
how we want to put the tables and everything. Also, peep the earrings. I have my Christmas tree cake earrings on. I'm like, time is flying so much that I guess I still think it's warm outside and I forgot to wear a jacket. So, I mean, it's not a big deal because we're not gonna be outside that much. But yeah, I will see you when we get there. And just like that, I am all set up. Um, I apologize, I didn't film setting up uh, this time. I do film tomorrow's setup though, but I just felt awkward. Some of the markets I feel super close to my neighbors and like they're gonna be watching. So sorry I didn't film it, but you'll see it tomorrow. And so we only did one table, like I was saying, for this market because we didn't have candles. I put what I normally do on the car coaster table and then I had my keychain display and tote bags and that was the full setup for this market. And I thought that this market went very well considering that we didn't have candles. Uh, so I think this is the busiest indoor market we've done. We haven't done a ton of indoor markets. We did a few last year and honestly some were a bust, but this was pretty solid foot traffic the whole day. Um, I will say it did slow down a bit in the last like two hours, maybe a little more honestly, but I can't remember off the top of my head how much we made. Oh, we made close to a thousand. Um, and I talk about that later as well, but that's really good for not having candles. In fact, we did better today than we end up doing tomorrow where we have candles. And I also brought my coaster sheet to get some work done. So that was nice. I got to do two big Pooh Bear coasters and I had time to do more. I just didn't bring enough yarn, but yeah, I love getting work done there. And then once it hit, I believe four o'clock. I think, yeah, four o'clock, we packed up and it was a quicker pack up since we didn't have the candles, so that was nice. Hello, it's 6.30 and obviously I am back home from the market. I apologize that I didn't get footage setting up. I just felt a little awkward to be honest. There was like a lot of people, like I swear, the whole high school was there helping people set up. And then like both my neighbors were setting up and I didn't wanna like, I don't know, set up a whole tripod. The spot was also pretty small. I wish I could say I could just relax, but that's not the case. I have a lot of stickers to make for tomorrow's market, so I'm about to do that, make a lot of stickers. I also really should finish the car coaster sheet and like do the backings and all that, but that might take me to like 10.30. Hopefully not. It's 6.30, it feels way later because the sun set. Um, but I have the sheet outside, I think I have eight coasters, car coasters that need to be finished, but like some of them are very close to being done. Yeah, that's the plan. I'm eating some ice cream. It was a great market. Maybe I should like talk about the market. <laughs> um, the foot traffic was amazing. We definitely want to do this market again. Um, we made 994 or $996 without candles. That's amazing. We sold mostly keychains, car coasters and stickers. That's like all we really had. We had tote bags too. We sold a good amount of tote bags to the point that I was debating making more, but I think we have enough. And then we'll have candles tomorrow as well. So that'll be really good. So I'm excited for tomorrow and I'm gonna make these stickers and then try to get the car coasters done. I also wanna take a bath. So we gotta throw some self care in there, right? Uh, but yeah, let's just do this. Don't know what I'm feeling Don't know how to keep my thoughts straight yeah. You got me second guessing Thinking that I made a mistake But inside Feels so nice Butterflies Okay, it's 7.33 and I just finished the sticker restock, so that took about an hour, which is not bad at all, uh, especially for this many stickers. So these are all good to go. And then I'm gonna take a bath right now and then keep working on punch needling. I don't know if I'll film the punch needling because I'm probably just gonna like lay on the couch and do that. Um, but this is what the punch needle frame is looking like. So clearly I have a lot to do. I finished this while I was making stickers. This will only take like, I don't know, five, 10 minutes to finish. And then one, two, three, four, five, six more and some phone grips. So, so we'll see if I can get this done. Not the end of the world if I don't, but we're gonna try. 
Okay, it's 11.30 p.m. and I just finished the sheet. I just decided not to do this last phone group because obviously it's late and I want to get this done. So I'm just going to cut out and finish the backs of the ones that I'm taking to the market tomorrow. So I'll leave the order ones here. Uh, she is getting into things. Hey, playing with packing peanuts? Um, but yeah, I'm going to finish that up and then go to bed and see you tomorrow. It's the next morning, I think it's like 8.15. The market starts at 10 and it's like a 15 minute drive. So I think we're good on time. I did not forget my jacket this morning and I also have my mittens that I got at a previous market because it is freezing, it's in the 20s. There's literal icicles and ice on our <laughs> windshield. So that's super fun, but we're on our way and I will see you when we get there. You ain't so different, so distant. I just picked up these donuts, they're from a local bakery, and they're only $2 each. These are the other ones I got. They look amazing. This is apple cider with chocolate cream. I don't know what this one is, just a normal donut, I think. Yum. Okay, so the second market is also at a high school. There are a lot of craft shows uh, during the holidays that are at high schools. And honestly, I think it's great because a lot of the students and parents come as well as other people from the community. And this fair started off really strong, um, just as strong as yesterday's fair. It just got slower sooner, and like by the last hour, there was barely anyone walking around. There was a school play that started at two, so I'm sure that had an effect on that. But we still made about $600, so that was better than nothing, and we might still do it again next year. And this fair ended at three, so... Obviously, it's 3 o'clock in this clip, and we are packing but overall, up. it was a fun day, and our neighbor was so nice. We talked a lot with her, and I really enjoy when that happens, so I was happy. We're home for the market. Um, it's almost 5.30. We have pigs in the blanket in the... Pigs in a blanket in the oven. If you don't know what that is, it's like... Well, this is how we make them, uh, because growing up, we always had this at, like, Christmas time at my grandma's house. Like on Christmas Day, it's we use Pillsbury Crescent Rolls. I got the Hawaiian ones this time. I've never tried those. And then American cheese, which I know it's like plastic, but we pretty much only eat it with this. And then the little like I think they're called little Smokies. They're just like sausage. You can get beef ones. They're like little tiny meat. They're like hot dogs kind of. Um, they're just smaller. And you put a piece of cheese with the hot dog thingy and then roll it in the crescent roll. Very yummy. Um, and then bake them. <laughs> Very important stuff. So they're baking and Sean, do you want to be part of this recap? Uh, today's market was pretty decent for a Sunday. <laughs> you gotta get in the frame. It's pretty little, decent for a Sunday. Yeah, it was a little slow towards the end. Oh my gosh, the last hour was super slow. We made how much? Uh, 600 I think like $550, which is crazy because we made more yesterday and it's, we had candles today. It was about the today. same 
amount of foot traffic you thought as yesterday? I think uh, before it slowed more. down, yeah. I think yesterday stayed a little more trafficked throughout the day. This like really slowed down, but we might do it again next year um, because I'd rather make $600 than not make $600 and it was only $60 to be there. And close by, kind of. Yeah, yeah, it was a closer market. Um, I have these coasters off to the side for orders that I need to finish tonight. Sean's working on frame covers tonight. I have a lot of kits that we need to ship out tomorrow, like punch needle kits. So Sean's gonna do the yarn and fabric for that, I believe, tonight or tomorrow. It was a pretty good market. Um, I don't have too much to say. I got this succulent. I see these all the time, the little like crocheted cacti. And usually they're like 15, 20 bucks. Um, so I just feel like I don't need to spend the money. Um, this was $7 and it's adorable. So it's hanging off my shelf right here and I have one hanging on the wall so it's really cute and also from Bart's Blankets she is very sweet her name's Rachel and she actually bought the wrong size like shopping bags from Amazon and gave me a whole case of them of a hundred shopping bags because they were not the right size and she knew I could probably use them but if you've seen in a past vlog I bought some crocheted like super plush pumpkins from her for myself and for my friends. And today, her pricing is so reasonable. I bought this crocheted snowman for $15. So this will be my winter crochet item from her that I keep in my office. And then the pumpkins will be the fall one. Let me show you where I have it. Right by the Christmas tree. That's so cute. So that's gonna be it for this vlog. I really hope you enjoyed. I plan to vlog next week. We have two markets left that we've booked and we probably aren't gonna be, I haven't talked about this. After the next two markets, which will take two weekends, we have one next weekend. Then we have the next weekend off because it's Thanksgiving. Then we have one the next weekend and then we're done until I don't know when because we haven't booked anymore. Um, but we're at least taking, I think, January and February off. So I'm still gonna be vlogging and doing weeks in my life or days in my life. We are planning to do a lot with that break. We wanna revamp the pop-up booth, like display pieces, make new display pieces, to see what we can do. Um, I wanna like paint my pegboard if I can and just make things a little cuter and better for the next market season and do add lots of new products add some new products hopefully yeah actually there's like potentially a lot of things i want to do next year with new products at least a couple of things already that i've thought about um but yeah exciting things i want to make a lot of inventory during the break too but i also want to use the break to rest if i am able to do that but i like to <laughs> fill my time because this is enjoyable but anyways yeah i hope you enjoyed this video uh, stay tuned for next week's market vlog and I hope that you subscribe and stick around and that I will see you in my next video. Say bye! <laughs>